TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. So let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen just in case. But I don't think we'll need it. But, you know. It's there. Um, don't forget, man, twitch.com is where you can catch the live stream. Usernames is on the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon. We post five days a week. Lock in, man. This is Tea and Crumpets. This is my first time watching Tea and Crumpets. Um, but I'm excited to afford it, man. Talk to me, man. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I think this one is called, oh yeah, Inside One of the UK's Most Abandoned Streets with Backpacker Ben. Hey guys, you're wondering to yourself, what is Magic J doing outside this, which is a lighthouse? You know, we're in a place where the pilgrims, you know, set off to go to search for the Americas. They got the deepest aquarium in this town. And also, they got the, the first, well, gin, distillery in the UK but yeah. let's walk around this town and see where we are because I don't know where I am wait a minute is that fat pack of Ben over there hello what what are, here. what are you doing here magic mate? J what's going on bro I live here bro. no way I live here in Plymouth welcome to my home oh oh this is oh this is Plymouth oh that's what he was talking about Plymouth Rock didn't land on us all right there you go, Backpack Backpack Ben, everyone. Plymouth. Shall I show you around? Yes. Let's do it, come on. Grew up here my whole life, lived here my whole life. Obviously, I travel a lot, so I only spend about four months of the year here. And obviously, as you can see behind us, I come here during the summer. During the winter, this place is a hell hole. <laughs> because it's pissing it down. It's cloudy all the time, it's freezing cold. But it's your first time here, mate. Yeah. What do you think? Do you know what? It looks nice. The weather's nice. People are people are polite. Are they? You're right. Of course it was devastated a lot in the war, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that, massively. That side I think it's the city. second most bombed city in the yeah. in the in the country. Yeah. Wow. Sure yeah, Plymouth. Really. Because we've got a lot of navy ships here. Yeah. I mean you see them you yeah, see them yeah. over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they also say That's cool. There's another wall. This is the first place they're gonna attack. Are you serious? Yeah, so I'm dead. We, we better get back. Yeah. 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 This is called Corinthian. Basically, back in the day, for years and years, we used to jump off from this wall into this water. All I'm right. Crazy. This is a pretty high drop. What the hell no? <laughs> yeah. You could say, bro, I'll give you a million dollars to jump off this wall into that water. I'm not doing it. Because what? That's my life. I can't swim. What do I look like? We also used to go on that. That's called runway. We used to run. I used to clear these rocks. See those rocks there? We used to just land in the water. Now, one of my mates back in the day broke his leg. Exactly. Is that, see? Exactly, people. That's why I'm not doing these things. <laughs> no, I'm not a daredevil. And uh, yeah, a, a helicopter came and everything. Towed him away. And your mum beat you in it. That was fine. I've, I'm, a, I'm a pro. I'm a bit of a stuntman. See? Imagine how unathletic your friend had to be to not clear them rocks, though. Let's talk about it. Like, I could clear the rocks off a run and jump. But, you know, good thing he's okay now. He learned his lesson. Don't do that no more. <laughs> if, it was my, if it was in my situation, and I'm the pro, and someone broke their leg, I'll be getting my ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> and people still do little walk, walk arounds as, well, as what I've seen right now. Yeah, we used to have barbecues on these rocks down there. I don't know why I still don't. I mean, it's a good little place. But Can you yeah, get down there without getting times. in trouble? We used to also jump off this. Yeah. I'll show you in a second. Um, Jay's too scared to come up. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing the, I'm not a daredevil, guys. Sorry. So I'll take the camera. Let me show you. So we used to run this way, run across this slanted wall, 
and just dive off and jump off into that. Woo! Let me show you another one. This one's even more dangerous. So, you see that wall up there? Never, never in a million years will you get me to do this. What a massive bloody building. I remember I was in what? Seventh grade, Devonshire pool. And I just, I don't know what I thought. It was a, it was a jump the diving board. And I didn't peep that it said 12 feet deep. So I, do, I went in the diving board. I know I couldn't swim. But I was like, okay, I'm going to just jump towards the wall. And I'm going to grab the wall and come up. Brother, I jumped in there. I went straight to the bottom, 12 feet. I'm talking about the I, when I finally came up. The lifeguard was looking, standing up, like, you good? I was like, yeah, I'm good. Knowing in my heart of heart, I was down there about to pass away. I was fighting for my life down there. But I finally got, <laughs> I got it together. I got up to the top. Um, and ever since then, I ain't never jumped in no water. I'm not doing that. Life vest or not, it's not ever happening for me, man. Not after that. I can't swim and I know it now. It's okay. We used to run off the top of the roof and jump into this. And another one of my friends broke their leg. So there you go, mate. So two of your friends broke their legs. Nobody learned a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every one of your friends are breaking their legs. What is going on? Oh. Only when I'm home. You can't do both these days. Ah, oh, fair enough. Wow. You're not it's allowed a to drink. Bike, isn't it? I love, I love. You're not allowed to drink and drive, and you're not allowed to smoke and fly either. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben, what are we doing here in front of the American flag and the British flag? What, what what's going on? Did they have, did they have beef? Did they fight? What no happened? beef. There's history here in Plymouth, mate. It's one of the most famous cities in the country. Behind us, we've got a US flag and UK flag, and this is where the pilgrims set off all those years ago. In 1620, I had to check the date, just to confirm. In 1620, all those years ago, the pilgrims set off on the Mayflower Steps right behind me. They set sail for America. They go make history here in Plymouth. Wow, I didn't know that, but, but, been like. I see a boat over there so I, I need to go to America. <laughs> Let's go. I'll go with you. Why am I muted? I don't even understand. Anyway, I said I'm not gonna say anything. When he was talking about Plymouth, I was like, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm Native American. Cool story. <laughs> Why does it keep muting? I didn't even press mute and it just muted again. All right. Somebody said, "Why well, I keep always muting? I'm too I'm too seasoned to be making rookie mistakes." I was like, "That's tough. You're right." <laughs> what made you get into YouTube and how long have you, has it been since you started? Well, it's sort of a long story, but I'll try some up here. But basically, you remember Snapchat back in the day? Yeah. That was a big thing, Snapchat. Back still in the day. is. It's is still it still a thing? Yeah, I, I don't still know. Popular. I don't I use it. it. I don't have it anymore. But basically, um, yeah, that was the thing back in the day. And I used to do short and sweet videos. Just so Backpacker Ben, Snapchat got, if, as an influencer, get on Snapchat, man. Put, put your stuff in the spotlight. On Spotlight. You can make some big little dollars on there. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not afraid to give the game to y'all. Uh, you ain't even got to be a, a seasoned influencer or none of that. You could just literally Snapchat whatever you think is interesting. Put it on Spotlight. If if it blow up, it blow up. They will pay you. Mates, and I start banging out my story. And all of a sudden, I started getting 10, 20,000 views. I got a big following from Snapchat. And then once Snapchat died down, I was- Brother, go back to Snapchat. What do you mean died down? <laughs> like, right, what do I do now? So my friend said, oh, stick your content on YouTube. And I was like, what's YouTube? I didn't know anything about it, right? But I did, took their advice, and the rest is history. Like Backpacker Ben, please, 
please, for the love of, do both. <laughs> Go back to Snapchat too. Snapchat's not dead. <laughs> I don't know why. Do, why do we think that Snapchat is a not dead? Like videos picked up over the years, and it just became my full time job, really. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Now I'm here in Plymouth, showing you guys around. So Jay, I've shown yeah. you the nice parts of Plymouth. Plymouth Hill, now we're at Barbican. Look at it. Barbican. <coughs> in London we've got this a Barbican, but it's not as pretty as nice. this. Yeah, it's nice here. But now I'm going to take you to supposedly the rough parts of Plymouth. It's a bit different to this. It's run down. It's forgotten about. This is what I came for. And yeah, it's literally two streets back. Two streets back? Okay. Yeah. I like rough, so take me to the hood. It's not quite Tottenham hood, which I sh which you showed me, yeah. but I'm going to show you to Plymouth hood. Oh, come yeah. Let's go to the Plymouth hood, Let's rough. Go. Come on. Hood is hood. The hole. <laughs> Why is everywhere I look here, it's called the hole. What's this one says? Hole approach. Whole gate. What, what's <laughs> with the hoes? Ho Road is my road where I come from. I live on Ho Road. So you're a ho. Plymouth got the hoes. That's what it say on the sign. Oh. It's Plymouth, man. You know, it's what it's like. Jules Guides come to Plymouth, yeah, because we need facts and fiction and education on why this area is called Ho. <laughs> Sounds messy, bro. Yeah. yeah. Messy and that. Let me say what I've got, got, got a Let's problem with big dog culture and that, yeah? Plymouth or go, Green Army, yeah? yeah people, think, back, yeah? people think we're carrot crunches, yeah? You can call us carrot crunches all day long, yeah? But I tell you what, I never eat a carrot in my life, yeah? I'm a <laughs> Janna, yeah? Plymouth or go, yeah? yeah Green yeah. Army! Green Listen, Army. when we go football away, yeah? we got the biggest following in Britain. You get me? Yeah? See what they say? That's, One, the, that's the numbers of the alphabet, yeah? Okay. Figure it out, yeah? See the burning? Hold on, A. A. Move your finger. Go wash your hands, first of all. All right. Faces in the flame. A. A C A. B. Oh, 1312. <laughs> My bad. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M L I mean L M L M I alright Well I I failed miserably at this task. I don't know what he's trying to show us. Have a look, see him? Don't tattoos. That's old Bill burning. That's a squad burning. Oh, they, wow. keep, they keep kidnapping me, yeah? I've done about 14 years behind the door. Yeah? It's yeah. Not, it's not big. You got a couple teardrops too. You might be, you might, you stamped. My bad. You can have your nails dirty. Yeah, it's a waste of a life. Anyone's listening now, yeah? Do not do my shit, yeah? If you're going to go and rob some planet properly, yeah? Don't do things off, off the cuff because you'll get nicked. Listen, love you lots, yeah? So guys, this is the infamous Union Street. Now, if you're from Plymouth, you know all about the street. It's dirty, it's grimy, it's completely forgotten about. Everything's abandoned on it, it's a right state. Behind me is the iconic Jester's nightclub. If you're from Plymouth, they know about it. Everyone knows about it. Let's just say I've been there many a time. Mm -hmm. I've had a fractured cheekbone, oh. I've had a black eye, I've had a broken nose, all from that one club alone on several different occasions. It's grim, everyone around this area knows about it. The general, the general, the general thought process that I'm having behind Ply Plymouth right now is people go through stuff and don't learn their lesson. One friend broke their leg. Nobody learned their lesson. Another friend ended up breaking their leg. You went to the jesters, got a cheekbone fracture, went back, got a broken nose, went back, got a black eye. And everyone knows about this street in Plymouth. So I'm going to show Jay about it now. Yeah. And show you what state it is now Salute. in. State of disrepair. Salute. I like backpack a bit, though. Compared to the Plymouth hoe, lovely. Wait till you see how crap it is down here, mate. All right. So here's an example of the abandoned Union Street. You've got a chicken shop that's been abandoned for years. You've got this place called Bang Bang. That's been closed for about 12 years. This place here is where I used to get a taxi home from a night out. Drunk off my face. That's been closed for years. 
And then you got a reggae bar down here. That's been closed for years. And this whole street is like this as well. It's an iconic. Guess what's open though? KFC. Talk to me. Big pub there that's been closed for years as well. The only thing standing is the KFC, which gave me food poisoning once. I was on the toilet for hours. So, welcome to Union Street. Round the corner is where all the junkies go. So, I, I recommend to avoid that place. I'll show you quickly though. No, nah, let's go. So, just round the corner is Junkie Corner. That's where they all go and shoot up and stuff and just leave all the crap on the floor. That's what it's so called. So, this, this area is not safe at night to walk. Got some traps and a bike. <laughs> it's just not a nice place and my house is about a minute from here so when people say oh ben why do you always call a place a shit hole because i live in a shit hole this is union street wait is this how sad it is yeah that's how i feel walking down I'm not gonna lie this is pretty cool this art oh yeah <laughs> <It's hard. laughs> well, if that's how you feel that's definitely what you can. somebody put this on a shirt that's dope <laughs> i like it so you know i mean what these dragon balls it's pretty grim around here but it's yeah this is it this is Union street in plymouth welcome yo going on plymouth with ben backpack locks in it <laughs> hey i told you that that people piss on this. Oh, for real? I'm, I'm not joking. Oh, Why are we here? <laughs> it's Plymouth. Wait till you see this. This is just grim. All the way down here. Wait, 79 pound for a washing machine. Yeah, man. You can't get that in London for that price. No? It's no. Brand new. It's cheaper in Plymouth. Um, Ben, I don't feel safe. Underneath this thing, it looks like it's gonna fall down on me. Yeah, I mean, it's on its last legs. This has been abandoned now for 23, 24 years. This it looks is like it's been abandoned, abandoned for 80 years. <laughs> so, what are they waiting for? I know sometimes it costs a, a lot more to de de demolish stuff or take it down. I mean, this used to be the iconic theater back in the day. Well, did now... Charlie Chaplin perform here? Probably. Because I, I heard that he came over here. Probably. I mean, this is legendary and it's just been, I mean, look at the state of it. Look at it down here. It's all boarded up. Look, look, it's all growing. Yeah. <laughs> growing greenery. These windows. Hello, one hole. <coughs> you imagine if someone pops their head out there. <laughs> I mean, people are probably squatting in there. There's a huge... Yeah, definitely. There's definitely some squatters in there. Homeless problem in Plymouth. And people normally actually sleep on this doorway. But, obviously, that's it. That is Union Street. And that is our iconic building, which has just been forgotten about. I'll show you around the left-hand side as well. Well, they are keeping it safe. Yeah. <laughs> like there you go, that's the condition of this. Around the corner. literally less than a minute up the road and look at the state of this I why would they keep it like this i don't know mate just council don't care run out of money whatever and i've walked past this millions of times you can probably smell piss the amount of times i've smelled that piss lost count oh i thought it was you by the way <laughs> <laughs> i need one myself i may as well go here i mean everyone else does there you go Undercover police car driving past. It's an abandoned car. So yeah, it's Monday, 2 p.m. You come here on a Friday or a Saturday. A it's kicking off all the time here. It's a hellhole. I mean, look at this car. It's an abandoned Bentley. Blacked out. You can probably imagine what this was used for. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm sort of back in Tottenham yeah. at the moment. <laughs> but this is Plymouth. The only real people will know about this character. I certainly don't know who that uh, is. What? But what I do How know. Ducky Lock. Oh, Dracula. No, Duckula. Count Duckula. It is a deep. See? <laughs> Count Duckula. You've got to be a certain age to know that. There you go, you? sir. So, have you, what, what, you live in here in Plymouth? Yeah, yeah, Born yeah. Born and raised here? Yeah. So why should people come to Plymouth? 
That's beautiful city, right? You know, go up on the hill. Yeah, Just go up nice. on the hill and yeah. look out there. You would never see a sighting like that in the world. What does Plymouth mean? Go up on the hill is crazy. All right, but he's talking. Yeah, okay. To you. Well, hope. It is my hope. Simple as that. Yeah. Worked there all my life. And yeah. I've just shown you the difference between Plymouth Hill and then this part here, which is just forgotten about, unfortunately. It is. It is, yeah. The old theatre here. Yeah. It's such a waste, really. So who used to be in that theatre? Do you do you know or remember? It, yeah, it was it was, it was a big theatre in the day. Yeah. Palace Theatre in Plymouth was, I mean, massive. Mm. It was still pantomimed and that show was going on when I was a, a youngster. Well, they should definitely fix that up. Somebody, it's oh, it's a it's a listed building, so they can't knock it down. Is what I'm being told, and it's probably a fortune to fix. So I'm pretty sure they should pick it up. They should clean it and make it a museum or something. Well, yeah, yeah. You still like youngster? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. A local from Plymouth, proud of Plymouth Hole, like me. Beautiful place, and he agreed as well. You go back two streets. You're on this yeah. hellhole street, so that's unfortunately what it's like for a lot of Plymouth. You've got the good and you've got the bad, like most places in the that's, country, yeah, mate. Yeah. She's called Fiona, this lady. Hello, Fiona. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm going to now get in the car. I'm going to take you guys to the iconic Plymouth Argyle football stadium. All right? Green okay. Army! Green Army. Um, so what was your worst experience? Tottenham? No. No, get out of here. I'm joking. Um, being held by the Taliban wow, for about six hours. Explain that, what happened? Well, me and Bold went to Afghanistan. We were one of the first YouTubers to do it. There was a couple other people that did it before us. Shout out to Wonder and Emma, she's done it. Um, but me and Bold went there. Yeah, they be doing some adventurous stuff that, <laughs> that is beyond me. With no permits or anything. And basically we got sort of arrested in a way for like six or seven hours terrifying it was terrifying we thought that's it we're gonna be held captive now for years in this prison because that's what happens there for journalists right now i'm not a journalist but they thought we, we were but we chatted our way out of it cracked a few jokes and charmed our way out of getting arrested and they let us go and then we left the next day because we were that well we were scared i'll be honest it was scary so that was by far the worst but you've got to say you know, most interesting story. So, yeah, Afghanistan. I've always wanted to come here because I play, I play football manager and I like to watch the lower leagues. So what does this team mean to you? This is the mighty Green Army, my team, Plymouth Argyle. And now I've been put on the map because we just got Wayne Rooney as our manager, I believe. So how do you really got Wayne Rooney? Because Buzzing. But no, no, technically, you're not a, you're not a fan of this team. Nah, no, I'm not, no. I don't, you, I, you I just, follow them. You do support? You do support? I'm a United fan. Manchester United. So that's why I'm buzzing about Rooney. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't, I don't support them, I'll be honest, but I do follow them. And, you know, I check the score where I, you know, yeah. see what's going on. So what, so what does this... I feel that energy, man. It's like me with the Bulls. Like, like I mess with y'all. I'll, I'll watch from afar, but that front office over there in, in Chicago for the Bulls, you you, you dudes are terrible. <laughs> get with the times. Bro. There, get lost. Like, get out. Anyway. This stadium mean to the community of... Plymouth. Put it this way, every year for the past 10 years, the Argyle fans have won the best away supported fans every year because they sell out every away crowd. That's that's what it means to them, like they're dedicated. It's the Green Army, like yeah. we're proud Plymouthians, they call us. So up the Janners, uh, up the Green Army. What I was going to ask you here, yeah, what does Argyle mean, stand for? I don't, that's a way goes back to name. like the sailing. We got an Argyle Street in Chicago ships and stuff. I mean, look at our logo. You got a, you got a sail ship on there. Argyle, I think. I hope that's right. I want to get called out for this. Um, yeah, the iconic Plymouth Argyle. Soon to be world known because of Wayne Rooney. Right there. Uh, what league me. are they in? Championship, mate. Oh, yeah, soon coming, coming up to the Premiership, guys. Watch out for these green armies. Spelled the same way in everything. Argyle. Alright, Ben. We're here 
near the town hall, I suspect. Yeah, it's town centre. Town centre, we've got some wicked artwork, you know, graffiti. I love all that because I'm a hip hop guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love but graffiti, man. Why are we standing in front of the graffiti? Hopefully one day I can like get a warehouse somewhere and like make a little apartment inside of it for myself, like a home, a couple rooms, and then like have some graffiti, like work areas of graffiti. Like that's my dream. <laughs> Well, well this, this wasn't graffiti, this was just wooden planks and the kids have obviously come over and graffitied it, which is cool, fair enough, but it's basically stopping people from coming in here. That's the second tallest building in Plymouth, it's and abandoned? as you can see it's completely abandoned, derelict, all the windows have been smashed in, forgotten about. So what was it? Offices or something. So this was the second tallest building, it's only, look, it looks like it's about 16 floors, that's it? Yeah, yeah, it's a small city, mate. But look, People of Plymouth. Come to London, you see tower blocks. <laughs> this is town centre of Plymouth. This is where it all goes down. It's where people just come for a shop. But you get a lot of weirdos around here, me being one of them. And uh, yeah, you get a lot of crackheads and stuff running around, drunk people kicking off all the time here at town centre. So if you want to come for the best place that people watch, you sit right there where those lads are and you just watch the people walk around. And you have yourself a great entertaining couple. I'm not gonna lie, as I got older, I liked, I enjoyed people watching, but I be minding my business though. But I just be, you know, looking at people, the different type of people that be doing the different kind of stuff. This is entertaining. Flowers, because you see some, you see some characters walking around. <laughs> but you see, you see typical UK town centre. It's yeah. grim. There's just a few shops. Most of them are closed because you know, after COVID and you know, online yeah. shopping. But yeah, I mean, we got my favorite shop there, CEX. CEX. I yeah. bought my laptop in there. I bought some GoPro stuff from in there as well. It's your typical UK British town center, isn't it? When did you meet Mr. Baldwin? Because I love that guy so much, man. Mr. Baldwin, <coughs> yeah. yeah. Excuse me. Um, it's a weird one, but we, I did Syria, yeah. and I think I was one of the first people to go there and, and vlog it. Right. And I just went there and got pissed up, like partied every night. Had a great time, in amazing Syria? place, amazing people. But a couple of YouTubers went there before me, but they just, you know, they talked about, you know, the war and stuff like that, which is fair enough. But oh, I just- Oh, so you showed it in another light, okay. Went in to show, I wanted to show people- <coughs> Excuse me. You know, the proper Syrian culture. And that's what I did. And I ended up on a bar crawl because a lot of Syrian stuff to party and I love to party. So yeah, that's what happens. And I put the videos out there. And about a week or two later, Simon Wilson went. And I... Oh, I love that guy, man. Liverpool support, oh, come on. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> anyway, so he messaged me saying, oh, mate, I'm going to Syria with Bold in a couple of weeks. How is it? I went, yeah, amazing. You have a great time. So he did the trip. And then I got a message about a week after that from Bold saying, hey, mate, seen your videos because of Simon. Great videos, keep it up. Good to see someone having a laugh, not taking it too seriously, you know. And... Like, don't get it messed up. Anybody that be watching my videos, if you if you see your, see your video on my page, but please believe when I'm in the UK, I'll be down to do any of the stuff that I react to. Anything that you see me reacting to, I'd be down to actually do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I already got a few things lined up. So that's it, really. I went to Pakistan, and then he reached out to me about a month later and said, "Listen, Ben, I need someone." to help me tour around the UK and drive. Do you have a license? Yes, I do, Mr. Bold. And there you go. I picked him up, he's toured around the UK, and then the rest is history. I've been to over 20 countries with him. 20? Uh, wow. I love it. I think it's better than London, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's quiet, you know. I mean, there's a there's a city life, but not as you know, not too many people. You mm -hmm. Understand, university is cool, so there's always young people around. Yeah, yeah. So why should people come to Plymouth? Why should people come to Plymouth? If you're looking for the quiet life, you know, you will. I mean, not, you're not missing anything from the city. I promise. There's everything you need, and the life is. I don't believe that statement. I don't know. I'm I'm a city guy. Like I gotta be. I gotta be close to it. <laughs> I gotta have the option. It's like in Plymouth, you don't have the option. It's quiet. They're not, you know, man them with knives and stuff. They're stealing our phones and shit. We're fine. Hey, Ben. I thought this. I need a little piece of danger or something. It was one of the most English towns I thought I would have came to. I'm seeing the Afro Caribbean store up there. I've seen a Asian supermarket. Yep. Like, I'm seeing all sorts of. What's that? 
Thai food. What's Thai going food. on? And you can even see in the corner. In all sorts of what's that? Thai food. And you can even see in the corner there, we'll go up there in a second, oh, Jamaican stuff, Jamaican supermarket. Wow. But yeah, there's a lot of um, different cultural shops around here. So I'll show you around. You've got Kurdistan, you've got, like I said, Caribbean, Jamaican, Nigeria, wow, and it's wow. all on this little street. This is like a stone's throw from the town centre. So yeah, it's not as, like I said, white as you probably think. There's yeah. a lot of cultural shops around here. I'm going to show you. The graffiti scene out here is 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 top tier. Soul food vendor. Is it Caribbean food or is it soul food? I know a lot of Caribbean restaurants that be calling their stuff soul food, and I just feel like it's two separate things. They're not the same. Both done with love, but. So here's an example how diverse Plymouth is. Behind me, got the iconic snack box. It's been here for decades. I used to get a fry up here when I was a kid. Still do to this day. Banging little shop. But right next to you, look. Wonder African Food Store. Wow. There you go. So you've got Kenyan, Uganda, Ghana, Jamaica, Nigeria. And you've got the best noodles ever, Indomie. We got to everyone who knows about the Indomie noodles. Now, as I was talking about how there's many different, you know, nationalities that work on the street, my favorite, Portuguese. And obviously, if you know Katarina, it's been Ooh, in my video. Portuguese. We've been here a few times. And what's your favorite dish here? Oh, it's this like egg tart thing and a yeah. cup of coffee. What about, then, what, 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 about, what about the lady? What's her one? Same, exact same. But then you got these fish dishes and like, there's tons, but Portuguese food, I'm telling you, Bang it right here in Plymouth and in obviously in Port Portuguese food is good. Portugal as well, so big up the Portuguese. Anybody who wants to get into YouTube or do what you're doing, what words of advice can you give to those people to encourage them to do what you see? This this the hidden stuff that people fast forward through. These are the gems right here. Good question, sir. Yeah. Well, let's just start now because if a trav from Union Street, which you've seen, can make it on YouTube, or at least, you know, somehow live off of it, then anyone can. I mean, I don't know. YouTuber. Yeah, so they're doing, you all right? Um, there you go, just been recognized that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, mate. Really good. Ah, oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, backpack event's been spotted. Yeah. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? Who can make it? Yeah, yeah, anyone can make it. Like, you see who's on YouTube these days and you look at them and think, I could do that. You yeah. can. That's literally how it happened for me. I was watching somebody and I was like, I could do that. And boom. <laughs> literally anyone can. You just got to put the effort in, put the hustle in. And Facts. Yeah. And you don't even need anything big. If you've got a good phone, no. got a good memory, no. get, get a phone, Hold your phone like this, put it on good settings, record, and then later on get a little tripod. Yep. That's how you go. Mine's like a $200 camera. Yeah. That's it. Thank you for taking us around. No worries, mate. That's what a lot of people don't realize. They want to be perfect before they even start. Like, no, brother, just start. Just start. As long as you can start, you're 60% of the way in. <laughs> Is there any positive words that you can say to myself, to the Team Crumpets family as well? Well, put it this way, I reached out to you guys for one reason, your sound. And I know sound people, I only collaborate with people that I know I'm going to hit it off with, know I can bounce off with a band to make a good story. I mean, the London video you guys made me do was awesome, so I figured I've got to at least, you know, show back the appreciation by bringing you here to Plymouth, but hopefully I've done that. But yeah, honestly, keep up the hard work, guys. I like your videos. I like you guys as a team. And yeah, we'll for sure do some future vids. You got mm. Jamaica coming up. Mm -hmm. Maybe I go to Jamaica. Maybe yeah. go to Japan, like you said. There you go. Who knows? Or maybe but... go to the Oceania Islands, Fiji, to Tonga, exactly. Samoa. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. Hey, man. Uh, now I know a little bit more about Plymouth. And no offense, back record then, but... I got no business there. <laughs> TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Shout out to Tian Compass.